get out of my way. Hey everybody, uh, it's been a while since I made a... Holy crap, I look like shit. Hold on. So much better. Now I'm clean. Yay. And my head is fuzzy. It's soft like a baby chicken or something. Or maybe a bunny. That and I have a oddly shaped head. Huh. Hi, kitty. Okay, anyway, uh, what was the point of this video? Yes! It's about... Science! <laughs> there is a user by the name of... Something. Has to do with particles. Can't quite remember. Uh, log into my account. Mm -hmm -hmm. Here we go. Um, his name is Particle Number Four. Very interesting. Either he's crazy like a fox or mad as a hatter. Um, hmm. He has some very interesting theories about physics. Um, and I know that he claims, because of one of the videos that he did, he, he claims that the, the moon landing was the moon landing, even though there have been a couple. I think he just refers to it singularly. Um, the first one, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong and Apollo uh, 11, uh, that was faked. And, um, I think he relies upon his theories in physics to substantiate that. I haven't gone through all of his stuff, but, um, I just started debating with the guy about some of his more interesting theories. So anyway, um... The good thing about science is that it is a self-correcting body of knowledge. Self-correcting because there is a system. The scientific method is a rigorous and as objective as possible system in gaining knowledge. And science is also used to refer to the body of knowledge that is gained using that method. So if his theories are scientific, <clears throat> they should be subject to scientific scrutiny, which is intense. Um, really, a theory has to withstand all criticisms in order to be likely to be true. Um, this is why that there's a lot of conflict between, you know, people of faith and people of science because you know the whole point of faith is to not be challenged and the whole point of science is to be challenged so the two clash because they're really coming from two different places so anyway if his concepts are scientific in nature then they should be subject to scrutiny and if they stand up to that scrutiny then they're good ideas and if they don't stand up to that scrutiny then they are bad ideas and the good thing about science is that the ideas themselves are either good or bad, regardless of who came up with them. It could be, you know, a really nice guy or an ass, and the idea is independent of the author. Though, um, ideally, that's how it works, but, you know, we're humans and we really 
strive on you know interactions between personalities were kind of geared towards that so even something that's supposed to be as objective as uh, science can become a bit of a personal attack but you know we have to come above that so anyway um, what am I talking about I'm talking about the predictive power of science which is you know fun to say anything any scientific idea should do one of two things one it should conform to all of the observed data and two be able to predict future events so basic things like um, laws of gravity not only are they adequate in describing what we see around us but we can predict how something will you know fall to the ground in the future if an idea does not have does not one conform to observed data or two is able to predict uh, future events then it's not a good scientific theory so uh, take a good look at that way take a good look at this guy's channel um, and somebody with maybe more of a mathematical or actually physics background take a look at some of his claims and try to go through them and see you know where he's making jumps um, I haven't had time to actually peruse a lot of his stuff but um, he did respond to one of my videos in a series of comments I tried to follow it I couldn't I don't think it was because it was beyond my level of comprehension but because I couldn't follow the sequence in his thought pattern. His sentence structure seemed a little jumpy and erratic to me. So go ahead and take a look. Um, and I'm going to finish my beer.